Hey you guys, it's Janine here and I'm here for my four month pregnancy update and I actually can't believe how fast it's going. I'm actually a little bit late filming this. I'm about 18 and a bit weeks pregnant. So the list or the, the guidance I have says month five starts on week 18. So I'm technically just into my fifth month, um, but we're gonna do month four pregnancy update. So I have some notes in my little book here. Uh, so we had another midwife appointment at about 16 weeks and we heard baby's heart. My husband was allowed to come in to this, I guess, I wanna say meeting, but it's an appointment, which was awesome because he hasn't been allowed to come to any of the ultrasounds really at all because of COVID. So baby's heart was 150 but my blood pressure has continued to drop, um, which has, I guess, caused me to feel a little bit dizzy when I stand up. So my heart rate, or I guess blood pressure, is about 100 over 58, I think she said last time. So I just have to be careful when I'm sitting up. Um, I'm supposed to eat more salty food, which is awesome, I guess. If you like salty food, I'm not a huge salty food eater. I'm more, I guess, craving sweets this pregnancy, which actually... I guess leads me into my, my number one craving is pink lemonade. So I'm trying not to drink too much of it because it's really all sugar, but it's so good. And sometimes I can't stop thinking about it. So we'll be like out for a walk and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want pink lemonade. And yeah, it's delicious. So that's been my kind of go-to for pregnancy cravings. I guess in my first trimester, I don't remember if I mentioned this, I was craving grapefruit. But other than that, haven't really had any crazy pregnancy cravings, no food aversions at all, which is awesome. Um, I've actually gained no weight up until I guess my last midwife appointment. So in my first trimester in the, I guess, first couple weeks or maybe the fourth month of my pregnancy, I was weighing the exact same amount that I did pre-pregnancy. So I would probably chalk that up to, I guess, leading a decently active lifestyle. COVID has kind of affected that, but we do walk a lot with the dog we're fostering right now. And um, I think that's keeping me healthy. We also eat pretty cleanly. And other than the pink lemonade, I don't have a lot of treats or snacks. So I guess that would kind of also lead into the no waking um, we've felt baby kicking a lot more actually. I don't think I mentioned this in my last video. I can't remember. But at 14 weeks, both my husband and I actually did feel baby kick for the first time, which was super early and crazy, but it was definitely something kicking or headbutting inside me. And kind of since then, they've been getting more steady. So I find when I lay down after being up or um, sit down, mainly lying though, um, I'll feel and the little kicks or punches um, in my stomach area, kind of just below my belly button. So that's been kind of cool for sure because I guess up until that point I was, I didn't really feel very pregnant. I still don't really feel very pregnant, which I guess is good because I haven't had too many crazy symptoms, but it's kind of nice feeling little baby kick. Um, I'm starting to find laying on my stomach Sometimes, depending if I don't have a pillow underneath my chest area, can be kind of uncomfortable, but I'm a stomach sleeper, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, finally, finally, massage has opened, so I've gone for one massage, which has been fantastic um, for my body, back, and especially my legs. Again, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the first video. I probably should have watched it before filming this one, but... I've been getting this like crazy nerve, it's not pain, it's like annoyance in my legs for most of my pregnancy, it kind of starts in the evenings. It's like restless legs, but worse. So I've been taking a little bit of an iron supplement floor of it every day at lunch, um, so that in case that's the case, um, but Cairo and massage have really helped. Um, I find it is starting to be in my toes a lot. It just feels like I want to crack them or like have them like almost like pulled because they're just like so they feel like squished. I don't know. It's really weird. But um, yeah, that's kind of been one of my more negative pregnancy symptoms. The other is I've started to get 
kind of a sharp pain in my like right and left side and I hear from Dr. Google that's kind of ran ligament pain kicking in in your second trimester which I kind of figured if that if there was one symptom I was going to get really bad it was going to be that one because I just have um, naturally really tight hips and I have scoliosis in my back so that's not the most amazing um what else Oh, we started buying a lot of things, I guess, because I have more time now and I'm not like traveling because of COVID, um, I've been able to like hit Facebook marketplace pretty hard. So we've gotten, and also once upon a child in Calgary. Wow. Um, if you go like early in the day when it's not busy, um, it's pretty safe, I would say from a COVID perspective, but, um, the, the clothing there is so well priced. I think onesies are like a dollar, five for a dollar. And sleepers are three for 15 and I have I'm kind of struggling with not wanting to give you know like Gap and Old Navy money because I don't think they pay their employees very well and I know that a lot of their clothing comes from overseas and probably sweatshops and probably not most it's probably all so I have a hard time with that um, but I also don't want to spend like zillions of dollars on clothes made by local makers that baby's gonna grow out of really quickly and we aren't made of money um so i guess this is kind of one of the better options is buying some of those clothes from fast fashion secondhand so i'm hoping to kind of like reduce my environmental impact that way but we've bought in we've bought in we have bought uh, a decent number of onesies and i've actually been organizing them and washing them um, what else have we bought? We bought a Mama Roo, which is one of those little swings for baby secondhand. Um, we've got some like towels. Some of the stuff on Facebook Marketplace is like new, barely opened. Um, what else have we got? Lots of little clothes for when baby comes. Blankets and shoes. Picked up a couple books. Um, one of my, I guess, tips is I've been, as we've been walking, I've been checking those little free libraries and just picking up some of the kids and baby books from there. And I plan on, once we kind of clean out our bookshelves here to set up baby's room, I'm gonna go drop off any you know personal finance and other books that I have into those little free libraries so that um, I'm kind of giving back, but also able to take for books um, for baby, which is awesome. We're starting to plan the nursery because I guess in a week and a half, I'll be 20 weeks and I'll have my 20 week ultrasound, which I'm excited and nervous for, but that's the one where you can find out the gender. I don't know if we'll find out the gender. And if we do, I feel like we won't tell very many people or anyone. So don't ask me um, when this goes up, what the gender is, because we're probably not gonna share that until baby's born. But I think we're gonna do the nursery kind of elephant themed elephants are one of our favorite animals. When we were in Bali on our honeymoon, we spent time at an elephant sanctuary, and I guess we've always really liked elephants, and gray is a very neutral color. Many of you know that um, definitely neutral colors are what I prefer. Oh, what else? Um, crib, we are getting a crib free from a friend, which is awesome. Um, we're borrowing a car seat, so we'll just be responsible for buying the stroller from a friend who her daughter is, I guess, just one now. So that'll be perfect. Uh, what else are we borrowing and saving money on? Yeah, stroller we're going to buy. We're going to go with the Upper Baby Cruise. So yeah, the Mesa car seat we're going to borrow from a girlfriend. Um, one of my other girlfriends is going to lend me some of the Swaddle Up Swaddles, which is awesome because those are expensive. Basically everything to do with a baby is expensive if you don't buy it secondhand. Oh, I bought a nursing pillow secondhand for $14. It was still in the packaging, which was amazing. Those are like 60 bucks. Um, I have no idea, I guess, if we're gonna have a baby shower. COVID is such a strange time to be pregnant and it's starting to feel like people think that it's over, but I don't think it is because cases are going up. Um, so we'll see. Baby's not due until November, so maybe September or October. I have no idea what it's gonna be like. It's so hard to plan, which is, I guess, the frustrating and dis disappointing part of this pregnancy. I've been trying to stay as positive as possible, but you know, not having people to be around and get excited with you has kind of sucked, to be honest. Um, 
obviously we haven't been able to really travel like we planned this year. We were going to go to Italy for our baby moon. So that's out, obviously. We'll see if we get out to the Okanagan this year, just the two of us. But like seeing family and going shopping with friends has been, I guess, not existent. So that's been kind of challenging. Um, as well, I haven't seen very many of my friends, only a couple during the pandemic. So hopefully that ends soon. Um, in terms of maternity clothes, one of my girlfriends lent me a bunch, which I'm super thankful for. I also picked up uh, this dress actually, and a, a jumper that I plan on wearing in the summer. And then I ended up buying on Facebook Marketplace, because I'm just on there all the time, a bunch of uh, maternity jeans and four dresses, I think, for 60 bucks. And some of the jeans were like page brands, which I was super excited about because those are like $300 new. And I didn't really want to spend $300 on maternity jeans that I would only wear for a couple months, but I still really like designer jeans. They're more comfortable for me. I don't know. We have picked a doula. Um, I think we're kind of leaning towards giving birth in the hospital. And now that doulas are allowed back in the hospital, that makes that a little bit easier. So it was a recommendation from a friend, which is fantastic. I'm really excited. I haven't met her in person, but at around 20 weeks, I think we're gonna have our first meeting with her. And I need to look into some prenatal yoga classes because again, my hips and round ligament pain have started for sure. Um, and that's about it. I'm a little bit hungrier than I have been. I eat more snacks, lots of vegetables and fruits. And yeah. I still don't really feel that pregnant, but I will show you my bump. You can kind of see it. There's definitely something there. So I can kind of suck it in a little bit, but it's still, it's little. So we'll see. You can't really tell I'm pregnant from the front or really from the side. It just looks like I maybe ate too much cake. We were out um, on the patio with some coworkers, socially distancing, having drinks, and not many of them know. So one of the spouses of one of the people I work with was like, oh, you look like you've lost weight, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because I haven't gained weight, but I haven't uh, lost weight either. So um, that's kind of it for me. I will be back doing my five month pregnancy update once that's over, and I think that's on week 22. So I am sure that there will be lots of questions and maybe suggestions for myself and maybe anyone else that's pregnant. I would love to meet anyone in the Calgary area or chat with and that's kind of pregnant at the same time as me. Right now it's June 23rd. So um, I'm not sure obviously when I'm gonna post these I kind of have to wait until I tell work and then announce maybe on social media and then I'll start posting my pregnancy updates. So look for those. But yeah, if you're due kind of mid to end of November, then um, hit me up in the comment section or maybe if you have any advice that is non-judgmental, but um, you're maybe a couple weeks or months ahead of me in pregnancy, I would love to hear from you as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you for my five month update.